Hello everybody and welcome to Technology Lair. In this short video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install custom recovery, unlock your bootloader as well as root your OnePlus One Android phone. So for unlocking the bootloader, installing a custom recovery and rooting your phone you need to have ADB drivers, you need to have the TWRP recovery image and the super user update file. So these are the links from where you can get this. This is the link for the ADB and the fastboot drivers. This is the link where you can get the TWRP recovery. And this is the link from where you can download the super user package. So I'll place this links in the description of the video. So what you need to do is just double click on this and install the ADB setup. This will install your ADB as well as fastboot drivers. I've already installed it. Just double click on this, follow the on-screen instructions and you can get the fastboot and the ADB drivers. The second step is you need to get the TWRP. Now once you have everything in place, just press shift and right click. So here, here you get open command window here. So once you open the command window here, you can run your fastboot command here. By running the fastboot command, you'll unlock your bootloader you'll install a custom recovery so let's move on to the uh, android phone screen where i'll show you how to set your phone to custom how to set your phone to the fast boot mode and connect it to your laptop just go to settings on your phone and make sure you have developer options enabled if you don't have the developer options enabled you can go to about phone and you can double tap on build number so it, it's already enabled so it is showing that you there's no need to enable the developer options so I'll go back and I'll select the developer options make sure the advanced reboot option is selected and the Android debugging and the USB debugging notify is also selected so once you're done just Go back, press the power button key and select the reboot option. So here you can see the advanced reboot options will appear. Now you need to select the boot loader and you need to click on OK to open your phone into fast boot mode. So once your phone is open into the fast, mode, fast boot mode, you will see an uh, fast boot icon. So at that time you need to connect your uh, phone with the PC where you have installed the ADB and the fast boot drivers. So once your phone is into the fast boot mode, just connect the USB cable. And once your USB cable is connected, uh, we'll move to the computer screen to show you the next steps. So now your phone is connected into the fast boot mode. Now go to the folder where you have kept the recovery image. Press shift and click right click you'll see open command window here so here just type fastboot space devices so here you can see that your device is connected now the first step what you need to do is first we'll unlock the bootloader here now before hitting this command please make sure that you have backed up all your data on your android phone because this will wipe out your entire data so the command to unlock the bootloader is fastboot oem unlock so it is finished yeah. your bootloader is unlocked inside your phone so your phone will restart and it will wipe entire data and you can see a screen like this so you need to set up your phone I'll just skip all those things for now. Click on finish. And once again you need to make your phone into the fast boot mode once again. So first I'll go to options, the settings. I'll go to about phone, hit the build number seven times. So I'll enable the developer options, open the developer options, select advanced boot, go back and once again 
I'll reboot my phone into bootloader. Just select the bootloader and press OK. So this will again start your phone into the fast boot mode. So you can see the fast boot is connected. Now I'll again go to the computer screen to show you how to flash the custom recovery. So first we will verify that if our OEM is completely successfully unblocked. So just type fast boot OEM device info. So this first value should be true, second value should be true and this should be false. So we have unlocked the bootloader now. So let's move on to the next step that is to flash the recovery. So just type in the command fast boot flash sorry recovery and the file name of the recovery image and hit enter so you have successfully finished the recovery the installation of the custom recovery now you need to reboot your android phone so just type in fast boot reboot so your phone will reboot here so once your phone is successfully rebooted you have installed the custom recovery on your phone now we'll move to the next step that is enabling the root so just copy this update su dot zip to your phone phone's root folder so just copy it here onto the root folder so once you are copied, we'll move to the screen on our phone. So I've copied the SU zip file into my phone and now once again I'll reboot my phone and this time I'll reboot it into recovery. So this is the recovery, custom recovery which we have uh, installed it earlier. Now select install and scroll down and select the super update file swipe this and this will flash it and reboot the system so here you can see it is upgrading with the super user privileges Here you can see you have the SU app. So in this way you can install a custom recovery. You can root your phone and also you can unlock your bootloader. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. For more videos you can follow or subscribe my channel. And if you have any queries regarding this video please feel free to comment on the video below and if you really like the video please give it a thumbs up once again thanks for watching